What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with another edition of My Damn Thoughts, and today is a very good day because we have WWE Elite Series 105. We have not done a My Damn Thoughts episode since Elite 104, now here we are with Elite 105, and something tells me that Elite 106 could be on its way very, very soon. It just seems like that could arrive at any moment, so that would be nutty. We've gotten a lot of reviews coming out. A lot of figures have been hitting just in time for the holiday season coming in, so buckle the hell up, Brad. Your wallet's about to fall to pieces. Nonetheless, man, we do have an exciting wave in here today. We have Johnny Gargano Syndrome represented. We have a couple new faces to the Elite line in here. We got some updates. It should be very fun. We're going to rank this set from worst to best as, as well as get into all my different criteria when we dive into a brand new WWE action figure wave and that is exactly what My Damn Thoughts is. We take a specific WWE Elite or AEW Unrivaled wave or any specific thing I want to talk about and we dive into it. We break down the things and we rank them from worst to best because I like to rank stuff because I like hierarchy. That's just a joke. But anyways, man, let's dive into my different criteria and talk about my damn thoughts on WWE Elite Series 105. Now, my first thing that I like to dive into typically with these videos is I'd like to get into my first thoughts when we initially saw this set. So when we first saw this set, I'm trying to think. I want to say it was WrestleMania weekend. We went up there. We got to do the whole shebang out there in LA, and it was absolutely fantastic. One of the brighter spots in this entire YouTube channel's history, I'd say. And we got to see a lot of the figures that are going to be represented in Elite Series 105, and my first thoughts were this is a very solid wave overall. I also thought about Johnny Gargano Syndrome because the render image for our Johnny Gargano had Johnny Gargano Syndrome. Now, one thing that we've learned is Johnny is actually going to have a running change where some people are getting the beautiful version right here that is the adjusted, you know, non-Johnny Gargano Syndrome version, and then there is a version where the people are getting Johnny Gargano Syndrome, and it makes me sick. But it's on ball joints, I think, so this guy's actually on pine cone joints, so, you know, it's just the pick of the luck, you know? Uh, just if you find this figure at retail, be sure to do your due diligence, check out the kick pads, make sure he doesn't have Johnny Gargano Syndrome, and if he does have Johnny Gargano Syndrome, buy the figure and incinerate it. But seriously though, my first thoughts on this were Johnny Gargano Syndrome and then updated Dominic Mysterio. They updated his skin tone and he looks a hell of a lot better. It looks a lot more like Dominic Mysterio and they absolutely nailed it. So that was my first thoughts when we saw this wave. Now let's get ourselves into our shelf warmer of the set and you guys know that we have a few guys here that I think could possibly shelf warm, but at the end of the day, I went with EO Sky. Now, it's nothing against EO Sky. I think she's a beautiful looking figure. I like this figure a whole lot. However, women's figures do not perform as well as men's figures when it comes to retail shelves. You know, little Johnny Jenkins isn't going down the aisle looking for the Charlotte Flares of the world, or at least not in the, you know, not, not initially. Most of them. Most of the Johnny Jenkins of the world are looking for your Roman Reigns, your Undertakers, your Braun Strowmans, your Rock figures. So, I think that EO Sky will probably be the shelf warmer of the set, if I had to guess. I mean, you just got, I, I mean, to be honest with you, she ran into a really rough wave. You have a lot of mega stars here, and you have guys that do really, really well at retail. Like, Braun Strowman does phenomenal at retail, man. Sells like hotcakes. Johnny Gargano, haven't had an elite of him in a very long time. You have first time on the line, Carmelo Hayes. First time on the line, Scott Steiner, and he's a throwback. And then you have the updated Dominic Mysterio from the Judgment Day, who's all over television, and he's getting so much heat. I feel like this figure's probably not gonna be at the top of the list when all of these figures are considered. Not to say this figure is not super badass by itself. And then we're going to dive into the hottest figure in the, si in the set. And I honestly, I mean, there's a lot of people here that could be up for this, to be honest with you. But I went with two different guys. It's going to be a throwback and a current day. And that's going to be Dominic Mysterio and Scott Steiner, man. You know how damn long people have been waiting on a Scott Steiner? If anybody that is over the age of me walks into a football store and they are a collector of these figurines, they're absolutely copping Scott Steiner if he's on the page. It's not even a thought they're buying this Scott Steiner, so that's that. But I would say anybody that's probably younger than me or a few years younger than me is going to be going for the Dom, man. They want that updated Dom. They want to complete their Judgment Day. They watch TV week to week. They love the new character of Dominic. They're like, damn, that's a damn looking good Dominic right there. He's got the tattoos. He looks like the Judgment Day. Great looking mullet. I'm buying that damn Dominic figure. So I think that these two could really represent. But if I had to go, I think top of the line, I think I'm going Scott Steiner. If I had to only pick one of these guys, I would go with uh, with Big Scott right here, which is an absolute amazing name. Big Scott? Oh, man, I could just see that. You're like, where's Big Scott at? And then you look over there and see that guy. You're not fighting Big Scott. You're just, you're just not doing it. Next up, guys, we do have the Chase figure. 
in the set. Now, the chase figure is actually going to be Carmelo over here, and it is in like a red color way. I will say, I think I like the regular edition better in this instance, similar to Elite 104 with Braun Breaker. I actually like the regular edition of the Carmelo Hayes, just like I like the regular version of the Braun Breaker. So you guys can let me know down in the comment section below, are you team red or team purple? I'm a Laker guy. I like the gold and the purple over here, even though it doesn't look entirely accurate to the gear he was wearing. This is still much better, in my opinion, than the red one. And the red one's cool. I'll definitely grab it if I have an opportunity. You know, I try to find the chase figures at retail most of the time, and I fail. I gotta tell you, Brad, I fail every single time. But, yeah, the purple's fire. I like the purple, but he is our chase figure in our set for Elite Series 105. Now, diving into it, man, now we're getting into the best head sculpt of Elite Series 105, in my own personal opinion, and it was down to two guys as well. Now, the first guy I thought it would be would be Dominic Mysterio. I think they did an excellent job here. It really looks just like his old head sculpt, except they've modified it with skin tone and hair, and I like this one. You know, Johnny Gargano's wasn't the best. I think Bronze looks really a lot like him as well. You could probably go there, but and it is a new head sculpt, but I think Dominic Mysterio or Big Scott are walking away with this trophy. I just think both of these are uncanny. They look just like the character on my television. Johnny Gargano looks like Hero Figs, and then Eo Sky. I don't think, I don't think her head sculpt's the greatest of all time. Carmelo Hayes really kind of has like a goofy look to it, and then Bronze is pretty good as well, but I went down to these two. I think these two have the most likeness, but at the end of the day, if I had to give it to one, uh, I think I'd go with Scott, maybe? I don't know, man. That's up to you. Let me know what you think down below. Next up, we're going to be getting into the best articulation in the set. Now, this is the figure that's going to pose around the best. You know, it feels the best in hand. Well, I guess not necessarily. It doesn't necessarily feel the best in hand, but it does have the best articulation. You know, I don't find myself struggling to get guys into poses, and for me, that is going to be another Dominic Mysterio, man. Chalk it up for another W for the Dominic figure. He poses around really well. He's on ball joints, not compared to a lot of other guys. He has an easy torso here. He feels pretty damn buttery smooth here. All of them have double jointed arms, but he is on ball joints. So you get this really nice split seize. He has pinless knees like all of them have, so the knees are a little bit tight, but I think at the end of the day, if you were to try and do a pose off with any of these guys, I think Dominic would probably be the easiest to do the articulation with, like in terms of posing. And then if you want the worst figure for posing, it's going to be my man Braun Strowman back here, man. You probably thought it was going to be EO Sky, but it's Braun Strowman, man. It just is. These legs are super stiff right here. They are kind of shield legs, so that's going to give him some minuses right there. He's a big guy, so he does have the best ab crunch ever. And then you guys know that as well as I do, on these big guys like this, the show, especially bronze, it's, it's mainly Braun Strowman figures. When you get these shoulders right here that, that are moved out, and then you have this bigger torso up here, it kind of plays around with the shoulder articulation. He can't really cross his body whatsoever because of how large he is. And that's not a knock on the figure. It's still a really damn good figure, but as far as like posability, the bronze is going to come in at the bottom. I, I just would least like, if you've ever fed it with a Braun Strowman figure and kind of posed him around, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just take a Braun figure and try to pose him around. It's not the most exciting experience, Bradley. And now we're getting into the best accessory of WWE Elite 105. And this one was pretty easy and he's wearing it right now. It's going to be Carmelo Hayes jacket. I mean, if you guys know the story of good jacket, I mean, this is a good jacket. Look at that faux fur going on. Fits the figure really nicely. You could put this on a lot of different guys, but this wave didn't have a ton of great accessories in it. Like, it wasn't the greatest wave of all time for accessories. The exposure right now is nuts. Look at my hand. Like, good God. However, this jacket looks really good. The bottom fur, the top fur, the, all the fur going on. I mean, this guy is looking like a million dollars. He is killing it, Brad. He looks like a damn good time over here. He is crushing it in every sense of the word. I think the Carmelo Hayes jacket is easily the best accessory. I don't even think it's close at this juncture, but this is a damn good football jacket. But it is that time of the video where we take all these mother suckers. I didn't say that word. And we rank these guys from worst to best in my own personal opinion. Now, straighten up the camera. And let's dive into my criteria for the ranking before we get into said ranking. Let, this goes without saying, and you should already know this, but if a figure comes in at the bottom of the ranking, it doesn't mean it doesn't have any good qualities about the figure whatsoever. And just because a figure comes in at number one in the ranking does not mean that it doesn't have any issues whatsoever. And it's just the greatest figure of all time, and there's just zero flaws with it, and you can't even touch it. So... And also, other criteria for the ranking, how excitement level for the figure, posability, feel in hand, how much does it look like the character portrayed on my television, head sculpt, lots of different things that come into play, man. But let's go ahead. With all those things being said, let's dive into the ranking for this set and start off at the bottom with number six, and that is going to be none other than Bronathan Strowman. For me, man, the Braun figure, again, it's just not, I wasn't that excited for it. I thought it was a cool release. It was fun to have a new updated Braun. I like the new look of him. It's a different take. I like the shirt. 
shirt. I like the figure in general. The head sculpt's nice. Just out of this set, it's my least favorite. I would least likely want the Braun Strowman. If I could only have one figure from this set, he would be my last choice. Coming in at the number five ranking is going to be the EO Sky figure. I actually enjoy the EO Sky figure a whole lot. I think her attire is very nice. Her head sculpt's solid. She poses around great. The gold pops off nicely. It's a solid figure overall, but again, I wasn't excited, wasn't as excited for that figure as I am for the rest of this wave, and sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Coming in at the number four spot for me is going to be the Carmelo Hayes figure. Now, I do enjoy some Carmelo Hayes. I like this figure a lot. I like the gear. I like the jacket a whole lot. Not my favorite formula for Carmelo Hayes, and I don't think that the head sculpt is the greatest of all time, and I think those things really hurt the figure, you know? And I just I just think there are better figures and more figures in this set that I would want over this one, and I think that, that kind of meets all the criteria right there. Coming in at number three might shock some people, but I am going with Johnny Football Basketball Baseball right here. Johnny Gargano is coming into the number three spot. Very solid piece. Very very good figure overall. Again, I think the gear is solid. I like the gear. I love the formula. Johnny Gargano Syndrome's dead. The head sculpt is not bad. It's not a bad head sculpt, and I actually really like his entrance vest, but I don't think the head sculpt's the greatest. I think that, that it could be better, but it's not bad by any stretch, and I, and I really do enjoy the Gargano figure, but at the end of the day, I think I'd rather have the other two better, because we do have some good Johnnies of the past. It's not like we don't have any good Johnnies whatsoever, so... There is that. Coming in at the number two and the number one spot, man, I am going with Scott Steiner, number two, and Dominic Mysterio at the number one slot, which actually makes me vomit, but you gotta give the boy his roses, and we'll dive into that a little bit here. So, Scott Steiner, easy. Been waiting on his figure from Mattel forever. I love all the unique sculpts with it. The arms, the torso, the gear, the head sculpt. Very phenomenal figure. I think that uh, they did a very fantastic job on the Scott Steiner figure. I look, more, I look forward to more Scott Steiner figures, but the Dominic and the improvements that they made from his last figure, and how much I've been enjoying Dominic, I was really excited to see that and I just love when they make corrections or they fix figures that clearly had issues with them like if you look at his last figure compared to this figure how they updated the skin tone and they made him look better and the head sculpt and the gear and just everything from the T it is a badass figure man they just did such a good job at updating this guy and really bringing him to life to what he currently looks like and that really excited me when we saw him at San Diego Comic Con he really stood out to me at Comic Con and that's kind of my last feel about it and then of course the Scott Steiner is very good that was actually very tough but between one and two, and they could probably switch every day, but damn, I was so excited to see Dominic Mysterio, and I think that they did a really good job on there, and everything like that, man. That that pretty much wraps up my ranking for WWE Elite Series 105. And I think that pretty much wraps it up for my damn thoughts on this set, man. I'd love to know down in the comment section below what you guys think about this set, all those different things. You know, what do you, do you disagree with me? Do you agree with me? Leave me all those things down in the comment section below. We can fight it out to the death. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the video, man. Huge shout out to our patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you guys so very much for that. We got some epic prizes coming to the giveaway for the patron members at the end of the month, which will be in a few days, so stay tuned for that. But that is going to wrap the video up, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later, and see you next time. <laughs>